Shall I stick the controller in my mouth to prove how much of a gamer girl I am? So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys, today we're gonna be doing a quick and easy, but still very effortlessly sexy and gratuitous five item Forever 21 haul video. I planned on having my Tara Reads comments up for today, but with me having to compete in the GP and get a bunch of stuff ready, like my fan service Friday and not having as many days to film it, I just wouldn't have the time to edit it. Rest assured though, it will be up next week. I swear I'm gonna dedicate the whole week to it. Even if all I do is Friday night mail and Tara Reads comments, it will be up. I know you guys have been asking for it forever. So all of these items I got very recently on forever21.com. One of the items, the PlayStation bodysuit, I was turned on to by Elizabeth Rose. I'll post her link to Instagram down in the description so you guys can follow her. She's pretty hot and her hot body in that bodysuit is what made me even go on to forever21.com in the first place. I don't even know if it's forever21.com. Okay, so I'm not usually the kind of person who would shop at Forever 21. I think it's kind of like, just not as much my thing. I usually just shop at Hollister or I buy nerdy cute clothes that I find. The two times I shopped at Forever 21 were first on my birthday last year because my friend Sierra, a badass talented artist, which I'll post down in the description as well. She's also hot told me that they have Mario stuff there. So I went there and got a bunch of stuff on my birthday. Second time was this time. A lot of people seem to be really shocked that they have this kind of stuff in supply. I don't know why they're pandering to the nerd audience when I feel like it's probably not the main audience of people that would shop at Forever 21. But whatever the reason, I'm very happy that they do because we get cute, trendy stuff that's not just oversized men's shirts, but also has the nerdy designs. Without further ado, Let's get into this. The first thing we're gonna be trying on is the simple Dragon Ball Z crop top. I like crop tops a lot, but I do prefer to wear cleavage shirts rather than crop tops because usually things just don't fit me well and it makes me look a little more boxy or bigger than I am. Also, I like to let the girls breathe, you know, and it's like infinitely sexier. However, more and more, I'm gonna start showing my midriff and I'm gonna be more about the cutoff shirts and about the crop tops, especially here in Vegas where I kind of have to cover everything that's gonna come in contact with the sun to avoid getting skin cancer. But as I crush my fitness goals more and more, I'm gonna be wearing more stuff like this. So I decided to get it because it's fucking cute. I don't know what it says in Japanese, but at the bottom it says Dragon Ball Z, obviously, and we've got Goku. I think we can get away with putting this on over this Harley Quinn sports bra. That I got at Hot Topic for any of you that are wondering. But first I'm gonna let you guys know how much the things cost, at least how much they cost on the tag. Some of the stuff I got for like $11 when it's $15 originally. It does seem like they have a low stock on a lot of this stuff. So if you're into the nerdy stuff, especially the anime stuff, the Sailor Moon, the Dragon Ball Z, guy or girl, they have both and they have kids stuff as well. You should check the website out or your local Forever 21 store like soon. This one is $15.90 and I think this is the one I gave an example of where it was $11 instead. It's a size medium by the way, I think. It's actually a small, never mind. I probably should have gotten a medium in this because I feel like the material is a little tight. But it does seem to be a good length for a crop top. It's long enough that if I'm wearing something high-waisted, it's not actually showing my stomach. But it is short enough that if I'm wearing something more hip-waisted, it'll show off the lower part of my stomach. I actually like this quite a bit. I think it's a good size. It's not gonna be super baggy on me when I do lose weight. It is right now tight on my arms, but not so much so that it's creating like a bunch of bulges and stuff. So I would say this is definitely the ideal size for me. My boobs kind of are compressed and it does feel like it's a little bit coarse of a type of cotton, but nonetheless, it is cute and I approve. On to the next item. So here we have a Street Fighter II tank top with distressed little holes down the sides and at the top with cut off arms that are pretty low. So you wanna wear this with a sports bra or some kind of crop top underneath. I have the Harley Quinn sports bra, so I'm gonna be fine. This is another thing where I just really like the subject of the shirt more than I like the actual layout of the shirt. I would like it better if it was a tank top that showed cleavage or if it was a crop top that had cut sides like this. And in all honesty, I might actually alter it so that it is is one of those things. Because of where the design is, it looks like I'll probably make it into a crop top rather than anything else. And probably cut these even more. Maybe cut here and go down and just make it like completely a side boob shirt. The fabric on this one feels a little bit better and I did get this in size small and it's $17.90. Let's get her on and see how it looks. All right, I actually really like this. It's really comfortable, relaxed fit, not as tight. It does go down really far, like it almost covers my butt. So I'm thinking maybe I'll crop it here like at Ken's feet or something and then make it so that the side slit comes down to almost the end. So where there's like an inch or less of actual fabric holding the shirt together. 
I do like the distressed nature of the shirt, the fact that there's holes on the sides and stuff, and it's really comfortable, but honestly, there has to be some element of sexy in anything that I wear, and when something is like this where it goes down this far, it just makes me look like how far my boobs go out is how far the rest of my body goes out. It makes me blocky. That's the plight of having big fake boobs and a small waist or a small-ish waist compared to your big fake boobs, which is the situation right now, is that you can't wear the cute flowy tanks because it'll make you look like you're extremely top-heavy and not in a good way. Overall, I love the color scheme of this, I like the kind of like pink. I can only equate it to the text color that they have in Instagram stories. It's cute, you can see your stomach from the holes in the sides, and it would look really good without a bra because of all of the side boob potential. You could even maybe get some of that wardrobe tape, wear nothing underneath, and then just tape it at the very edge of your nipple, so that it's never gonna show your nipple, but it gives the illusion that it might, with maximum side boob. This is honestly a great workout tank top, but the problem with that is it's too cool to be a workout tank top. At least the way I see it, all of the tank tops I used to work out in, I don't usually use as my like everyday cute outfit tank tops. Another possibility is also to just tie it up in the back. So in case you ever do want like a really long shirt to tuck in or something, which gives me the idea to tuck it in. There we go, that's a little better. Although it is like a lot of fabric, so it kind of bunches up. I would prefer if there wasn't just so much fabric. And it kind of bows here in the front, which isn't bad. It almost shows cleavage, which is crazy. What do you guys think? I think I like this one a little bit better than the Dragon Ball Z crop top just because it has so many possibilities and it's Street Fighter, I don't know. I like the Dragon Ball universe better than the Street Fighter universe, but a lot of the mainstreaming of Dragon Ball has kind of it's unfortunate to admit turned me off to it a little bit. I feel like a Street Fighter shirt is just more special, more rare. And I know usually I put stuff like this on the gaming channel, but I've put so much nerdy sexy haul stuff on the gaming channel recently that I feel like I'm just oversaturating it. So I thought this would be a good segue to getting you guys who are actually into gaming, people who would enjoy this haul a little bit more than just because of the TNA, to go over and check my gaming channel. I have gameplay there, I talk about gaming topics, I'm gonna do a lot more of that soon. I have game release news every month. So if you wanna check that out, the channel is youtube.com slash Games. It's in the description of every video and I would appreciate it. It was my first channel, but it now happens to be my second channel in terms of popularity. Let's get it back up at least close to par with this channel. See if we can do it. All right. Next item is, I'm not quite sure. We've got three items left. A PlayStation bodysuit, which I'm gonna call a onesie, or a monokini because I like those two a little bit better. This is the reason that I did this shopping, but I do kind of want to save the best for last and I'm not sure what the best is. This is a Sailor Moon shirt, but it is incredibly sheer. Like I will have to wear a bra or pasties or something underneath this, but because it's sheer, it makes it so much more interesting. And we have a little crop top with Baby Gohan on it. But I feel like I wanna keep this one for later in the video because I'm gonna have to take my bra entirely off for this one. So bra stays on for this one, bra comes off with this one, and bra comes off with this one. I just logicked my way into knowing what's next this. Thanks for the help, guys. Thanks for listening. Oh, this is gonna be so hot. I'm so excited. Let's get this off. And this off. So here we have Sailor Moon Forever 21, and this is a size small, and it's $17.90. If you're looking for Sailor Moon stuff, there's a lot of it. I liked Sailor Moon as a kid, but I've never been like the biggest Sailor Moon fanatic, so I only decided to get something that is literally one of the coolest shirts I've ever seen. Oh, guys, moment of truth. Oh, this is so cool. Definitely my favorite. I don't know if I can wear this out in public, to be honest, but it looks so good. I feel like the fleshy parts of Sailor Moon's arms are my boobs. Please tell me this isn't the coolest shirt ever. It's so comfy too, and it has a four-way stretch that's like really stretchy. This is a small and I don't think it's necessarily supposed to fit me, but the fact that it's so stretchy means that it like effortlessly does so. Over here we have something in Japanese, it probably just says Sailor Moon or something, and I don't know. I can't get enough of this shirt. Look, you can make like anime jiggle happen. The crop is tight too. A lot of crop tops happen to be like really loose. So if you have big boobs, as I've said before, it's gonna make your waist look kind of blocky or big, bigger than it is, because it ends up after the boobs kind of just flaring out off of the boobs and not accentuating the waist. But this one, it actually hugs your curves, which I absolutely love. Okay, favorite so far, just because it's fucking cool. The next thing we're gonna put on is the Baby Gohan shirt. Here it is, Baby Gohan and all of his shelteredness before my Namekian king Piccolo got to him. It's a halter top, so it's gonna have a lot of side boob on me. It's also a crop top, it's very short, and it's also gonna be more form-fitting on me, so it has a potential to look really good. This is a size small, and it's 12.90. 
Gotta put it under the boobs, then over the neck. Oh man, it's looking like a cooking apron at this point. Okay, this is definitely gonna be sexy on me because of how low I can wear it. Like I cannot tie it tight and then it'll be like crazy. In my opinion, halter tops are never gonna look right with the bra underneath, so let's go ahead and remove that and try to keep the boobs contained. This is probably gonna be a wardrobe tape needing situation. So. Post in the comments if there's anyone who's like me and cuts these off instead of actually using these on the hanger. I would rather just tie the halter top part over the hanger and make it look a little bit worse than have to deal with these while I'm wearing it. This material is a lot more stretchy than the other cottons we've looked at before than the other two crop tops or the crop top and the Street Fighter tank top. It's really stretchy, it's like very soft as well. I would say that this is the ideal cotton type fabric and it's also gonna form fit on you because that is definitely my preference if you haven't noticed. <laughs> It looks great, I fucking love it. And you can definitely wear it higher and tie it tighter if you want it to cover more of your boobs and less of your waist. If you guys know who the ducky is on Twitch, I bet you guys can all agree. And if you don't, you should check her out. That's gonna be the third girl I'm shouting out in the description. For basically no reason other than that she said, oh my God, I wanna go get some of these things on my Instagram post about it. But yeah, don't you guys think that she has the perfect anatomy to wear this shirt? High five if you know what I'm talking about. Last, but definitely not least, is going to be the bodysuit, the PlayStation bodysuit. It's black, it's stretchy, I got a medium because I wasn't 100% sure how it was going to fit, if it was gonna be more lycra or if it was gonna be cotton. I'm very happy that it's like a cotton spandex blend because I really hate the like swimsuit material, the lycra material, I really don't like it. I have high hopes for this thing on the back, we have the button symbols, and this ran me $17.90. So a lot of this stuff is really affordable. It's way more affordable than any of my Gymshark hauls, and a lot of my just like nerdy stuff hauls. That is something that's cool about Forever 21, though I don't have enough of their stuff to attest to the longevity of their products. So keep that in mind. If any of you guys have any info on that, you can post down in the comments, but I just wanna get this thing on, so let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna do it the most effective way here, where I don't have to stop any filming to take off my clothes. I can just seamlessly do it like I'm at a photo shoot back when I was a model and I'm uncomfortable with the photographer. Oh my God. I hope you don't see anything while I change. Okay, this is proving to be a little bit more difficult. Don't show nip. All right, one second. Yes, 100% yes. Okay, so the first thing I love about this is that it has side boob and cleavage potential. It's stretchy, it fits like a glove, it's nice. It's not cutting off any circulation anywhere. It just feels good. But then the cut is also higher to make you look like you have a smaller waist and bigger hips. And it's like almost a thong in the back. A lot of my one piece swimsuits that I have that are nerdy related, like my Batman ones you've seen before, I'm sure. They have a full butt in the back, not even like a Brazilian. And that often leads to me uncomfortably hiking a bunch of fabric up my ass because I'm not gonna walk around with a full butt coverage swimsuit. It's just not gonna happen. Okay, so final verdict, I would say my absolute favorite of all of this stuff is gonna be the Sailor Moon shirt just because of the way it fits right now. As for subject matter, it's definitely gonna be the PlayStation one, which I feel once I grow into my perfect body or whatever that I'm going toward, I'm going to like the fit and the way that it looks a lot better to the point where it will be my favorite. I think the baby go Gohan one is like tied for second or my third favorite and my least favorite is probably the first one I tried on the Dragon Ball Z crop top. Even though it's definitely not bad, we had no misses in this haul and I'm very, very happy about the results. It's really cool when you can get like a haul and then you're excited to try it on but then afterwards you're more excited to have it because you know how it fits on your body and you know how awesome it is and you feel like your purchases are validated because, well first of all it wasn't that expensive. Probably the least expensive clothing haul I have did for you guys even with Hollister and stuff which is also pretty low on the expense range. But yeah, this is how most people are probably gonna wear it because most people are not gonna go to the pool with a cotton bodysuit. So it's mostly just gonna be for sexy gamer girl pictures that people will call me a thought over. And then as a bodysuit type shirt, underneath cute shorts and skirts. I like bodysuits instead of just tucking in a shirt when you're wearing a skirt because it basically acts as the shirt and the panties. You don't have to wear panties. And on top of that, you don't have to keep tucking the shirt down and worrying about like rolls of fabric because it's being held between your crotch. What do you guys think? Do you like it shirt mode or do you like it full on bodysuit mode? I had fun making this video. I hope you guys had fun watching it. Remember guys, you can get this stuff at Forever 21 right now. It might be gone next week. Some of it might be gone right now. I don't know. Like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. All of the things mentioned and links will be down in the description as always. And girls or guys with girlfriends, if you buy this stuff and your girl or you look hot in it, tag me on Instagram. I will definitely be posting pictures of all this stuff on Instagram as well. At Tara Babcock. Bye guys. Mwah. 
I like it off the shoulder too. Maybe I should do like one off the shoulder. I think that looks really good. Ooh, one second. The Evelyn PS4 controller I got Jay for his birthday from Controller Chaos. You guessed it, link in the description. Shall I stick the controller in my mouth to prove how much of a gamer girl I am? Just a lick. Bye guys.